Hello everyone, in this Hylenic Shorts, I am going to tell you about a nodular sclerosis type of Hodgkin's lymphoma. So it is a classical variant of Hodgkin's lymphoma, which will be seen in younger patient. Male and female are equally affected and mostly they will be presenting with mediastinal mass and remember this is the most common type of classical Hodgkin's lymphoma and they will be having good prognosis, right? Why it is called as nodular sclerosis because collagen bands collagen band which will be eosinophilic and they are forming the nodules so you can see eosinophilic collagen band deposition is sclerosis and they are forming the nodule that is why it is called as nodular sclerosis sclerosis means collagen band deposition and when you are going to see the individual tumor cell cytoplasm will be clear because of the artifact and that is why it is called as lacunar reed sternbuck cell now you can see this is the low power view where we can see eosinophilic collagen bands are present right so these are the eosinophilic collagen bands and they are forming the nodules so you can see these are the nodules formed by eosinophilic collagen bands so collagen bands are forming nodule that is why it is called as nodular and collagen band accumulation is called sclerosis so this is nodular sclerosis even at the low power view you can see there are clear areas which which suggest that at high power view this will be containing clear cytoplasm containing tumor cells right so now you can see this is the high power view uh, one tumor cell i am showing you cytoplasm is clear this is the tissue artifact which we are we are seeing in this hodgkin's lymphoma and because of this clear cytoplasm lacuna is formed and such type of reed sternberg cells are called as lacunar reed sternberg cell so it is a classical hodgkin's lymphoma so lacunar reed sternberg cells will be positive for cd15 and CD30. So this is the immunophenotyping of the lacunar reed sternberg cells. Enjoy learning. Best wishes for your exam.